Welcome back to the final part of tonight's show, and it's all about the all about the brunch. Is that what I was trying to do, Megan Trainer, no. with Erica Drum this <laughs> evening? Uh, yes, I'm very excited. Brunch sometimes might be a bit daunting for people if you're cooking for others. Yeah, it's usually like poached eggs and stuff. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of alimanute. You're a lot of things that you have to make at that moment when everybody's there. We're yeah. out of people in our garden now, which is amazing. So something like this is perfect. It's all done in advance, and you slice it up and have it and serve it. For what, what is it? What is it? It's a Spanish tortilla. Spanish tortilla. Oh, so thanks for the thanks yeah, for the accent tortilla, as well. Thanks. Fair play. <laughs> Do try. Um, it's essentially potatoes, egg, and onion. Um, we all may know it. Lots of people would have tried it if they're in Spain. It's one of their national dishes. Oh, it is okay. the, the hangover next morning. You've been out for dinner the night before. You're on holidays in the Canaries, up and awake, and they've got you're or you're in the the cafe, and they've got it behind a glass, and you're like, Do you know, I'll have I'll have fifteen of those. Yeah, <laughs> with two spoons of the garlic aioli that go <laughs> exactly. with it. Exactly. Well. There we go. It's like exactly. eggs on eggs, but no one's no <laughs> one's judging. Get off with? Um, the reason why we all love it is because traditionally, particularly in Spain, obviously, it is fried potatoes in extra virgin olive oil. So it's like a really posh, deep fried dish. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I've fried the potatoes. That's it. I've kind of done a little bit in advance to show you guys. Um, how to put it all together. So the potatoes have been frying for about 10 minutes in a kind of medium-high heat. You want that bubble. You want them to kind of... Um, you don't really want them to colour. You just want them to cook. And do you need to use the extra virgin olive oil? Yeah. Oh, all right, OK. Uh, it's all about the flavour. It's all about... You know, there's three ingredients, Marion, so we're going to make it the best that they are. OK. Um, that's the traditional way. You don't need to. You know, as I, I always say the different ways, if you want to use sunflower oil or something else that you have in your house, go you know, for it. by all means, go for it. So be careful here. Obviously, you've got hot oil in, in, involved. Then I'm going to add onions. So usually I'd be adding raw onions sliced. So that's just a big Spanish onion sliced. And I add that in and let them fry about halfway through. So you okay. can see there's a lot of, uh, you know, bubbling oil, mm. so be careful, but it is worth every minute of it. So just about 10 minutes on a medium high heat, and then they're both cooked. So I was adding in those onions to show you that you'd be cooking the onions, but actually they're cooked because it takes a little while. Okay. So pour it all off. Um, you can keep this oil, it kind of sounds a bit weird, but you can keep it for next time. If you're going to make them, if you think you might make them again, you will make it again, by the way. Once you've learned how to make it, you'll make uh -huh. it again. Yeah, it's okay. So um, it's been strained, you could let it cool, strain it again with a sieve. So while that's cooling just a little bit, not massively, I'm going to get the eggs ready. So I have six eggs. So I use six eggs to about four potatoes to one Spanish onion. Really simple. And okay. we're literally just going to whisk our eggs. What's a Spanish onion? I know it's, it's a big, onion. It's the big fella. It's the, the big yeah. like, yellow you one. You have the little white or brown, they call them. Um, and then the Spanish one is the big one. The big one, right. I think um, we use Spanish onions all the time then. They, 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 they come in three packs. They come in three packs. Yeah, and the they're one, the yeah. easiest, really, because you can cut. Um, you, you know, there's less peeling. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Less, it's, less it's a good taste. Yeah. It's different. Um, the, the smaller ones would probably be a bit more pungent, but they're, they're all. They're all lovely. Actually, they get a bit sweeter, the kind of uh, red ones as well. Okay. But here, I love them because of the length the half circle gives you. Uh -huh. Okay, lots of salt, guys. Don't be shy. That's pretty much it. Okay, we're watching. We're going to pour those gorgeous potatoes and onions Oops. into... Just straight in, nice and simple. Egg mixture. Okay. Right. I leave it cool down, then lash it in. I let it cool down just for a minute so it's not oh, going right. to cook the egg, but not it. fully. You actually want it hot. And what I learned when I was doing a lot of research for this is what they do is they'll let it stand like this in Spain, mm. in this wet mixture, for about five to ten minutes before they put it in the pan. But we're going to go straight in. So it kind of like coagulates nearly and, and starts its firming process. Okay. okay. But so we're going in kind of into a medium heat again. It looks gorgeous. We can't do any of the oohs and ahs. Oohs. It does not look do. gorgeous yet, but it like, will. Like during the other recipes, you and I'd be sitting over here going, it smells gorgeous. It does and smell it looks gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And the smells and the aromas and lovely colours. It's none of that with this recipe. Not yet. No, not yet. No, no, no. It's just goo. Not yet. It's just goo, guys. Right now it's just. Well, no, in muck. fairness, the smell has been quite nice of the fried yeah. onions well, the and the fried right, yeah. potatoes. So as that cooks for a little while, we're going to see how far we can get. Um, to show you with that, but cool. I wanted to do a little side to add a bit more Spanish flavour to it, so it's not just the simple tortilla. So I'm, I'm frying some chorizo. Oh, Is that a good accent? No, that was awful, Erica. I'll try. <laughs> uh, some people like to put the chorizo in here, 
Yeah. Um, or the red peppers that we're going to add as well. But traditionally, I prefer to just keep them separate. Um, would you have this on your breakfast now, Counter? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You, Don't you we... love that in the holidays when there's like meats and cheeses and it's totally it's okay to eat plates yeah. of cheese oh, for can't... breakfast? You're sitting yeah. outside and you're sweating. You're already getting sunburned. It's only 10 o'clock oh, in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we not? Love that. Can we not quite yet? Not just, yet. We're not there not yet. yet. Not I there. Know. So looking forward to the summer and the bit of summer. What are you doing for the summer, Erica Drum? So uh, now that you say it, and I'm cooking a summer kind of holiday dish, I'm hosting uh, summer cookery classes. So it's a cookery course, actually. I'm doing a summer series online. Okay. So if you go onto in my Instagram, you'll see it in my bio. Um, so it's four different nights every Tuesday, kind of from the end of June into July. And I'm going to teach you how to host some fun summer parties. Cool, that sounds Off fantastic. Race. On Insta, yeah. you can check that out, um, Eric. At, at Drum's Kitchen. At Drum's yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Uh, and I'd be able to do it from the Canaries, I suppose, while I'm there. You can right? do it from the Canaries. Yeah. You can teach us some of the Canary dishes. It's fine. We've got uh, about a minute left. OK, so we have our chorizo frying. I've now added in the peppers, which I'm going to kind of reduce down. This is essentially just to go on the side, kind of fall down the edges. OK, so garlic's going in, a little bit of smoked paprika and a little bit of chilli. That's it. Forget about that for a second, then we'll go back to our tortilla. OK. Smells. Now you get the smells. Yeah, Ooh, no, yes. Yes. and the I, colours um, there, Rick, and the colours are gorgeous. You the colours! We're, we're so running out of time, we only got like 30 seconds left, I think, so. Okay, you're watching, so we're not yeah. going to get the whole thing cooked today, but this is what I want to teach people. Pull the edges in, right? Use, you need one of these, and you want to go right around the edges. Yeah. And when you see it starting to solidify on the edges, that's when you get, I can't do it now, but you get a plate this way. Yeah. And flip it it's over. It's risky, right? And you flip it over, you put the plate down, you lift it and you turn it over. So you want to make sure it's quite cooked. You can see it's steaming there. And you only do it on the pan, you won't be turning that in the oven or, or anything like that, no? You could do, but this is the traditional way. Okay. You flip it over, you have it all here wobbly and you slide it Have a look at it in. there. Look, we've got one that's already okay. done and we'll have it all on Six Eats. Erica, thank you so much. You cut it up there. <laughs> the colours, guys. The co look at those colours. Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely.